Today um, we're going to talk a little bit about the orientation of some of these fabrics in the new um, Curiouser and Curiouser line by Tula Pink. Um, first I thought we would look at this fabric from line work. As you can see the selvage is on the bottom. Um, it's on the bottom because I'm where I'm standing but the selvage runs to the side of the zebras and that's the way um, I think you know we traditionally see fabric is with the design is running long ways on the bolt but um, that is not always the case if we look at this fun pandemonium fabric we can see that the selvage um, is actually running at the top and bottom of the panda design um, and so that requires a little bit more thinking in terms of how we're going to use this fabric. So for example, in this, um, in Curiouser and Curiouser, I had the idea of making some curtains for my sewing room out of the painted roses. And so we'll look at those in a minute and determine what we might need to do to make that work. So. First, we're going to look at the non-directional prints. And so this is, you know, our Cheshire cat. And here's our selvage. The design, the cats are facing all different ways. So we can use that in any way that we like. There's the other cats. We also have these little baby rosebuds. And same thing, non-directional print. So we don't really have a lot to consider when we're working with these. We could run our fabric. Um, any direction in our project, uh, the design's not going to be impacted. So here we have, this is a fun little print called Suited and Booted. Um, these run, make sure that I'm not making things up. So here is, let's do it on both of these. Here is our selvage edge. So these actually run um, the other way. So we would usually expect a pattern like this to run this way along our selvage, but that's not what we have here. The selvage is actually um, here, and so the design is running um, the, you know, the opposite way. It's not running along the selvage edge. Um, because this is a smaller print, it, you know, that probably isn't going to have a dramatic effect on your design, but it's still a consideration. Some of the prints that do run along the selvage include this one, where we have the floral design and then the bunnies and the hats and the selvage here along the um, parallel to the design. And here it is again in this other colorway. Another one of the pieces that has the selvage running parallel to the design is this one. And there you can see it in this lighter color and then also in this darker color. And then that's our, our selvage edges there. Okay, so now let's look at the kind of larger, larger scale of the prints and where the selvage falls on those. So here we have Alice falling um, through the rabbit hole. This is our selvage edge here. Um, I'm orienting the fabric in this way because her hair is, um, is pointing down because she's falling. And so this design runs perpendicular to the selvage. So, if we were going to do something and make something like curtains out of this, you know, our max um, length out of one piece of fabric is going to be, you know, about 44 inches. So we have to think about what we're going to do to make that work for something that requires um, a longer piece. And then here it is. Again, here's our selvage. And again, in this color. Next, we're going to look at the painted roses. And this is the design I thought I would use in my sewing room for curtains. Um, here, our selvage is at the top. Here we have this pink version, again, 
there's our selvage and we can see, you know, that ordinarily we'd expect to see this design running parallel to the selvage, but instead it's perpendicular to it. And on the last piece, we've got it with the bright white selvage. So you can see really clearly that the roses are dripping this way and not this way. Next, we have teacups and the teacups are also oriented with the selvage perpendicular to the pattern on the fabric. Yes, selvage and in this pretty pink color selvage. Let's look at cameos. The cameos are also oriented in this way. So here we have the Alice cameo. It looks like in my fat quarter, I ended up with two pretty complete cameos and several partials. Um, but the selvage is here, and so our design is running perpendicular to the selvage. Okay, and then, you know, here in the yellow as well. And then finally we get to, I kind of think the star of this collection really is this Red Queen. And the Red Queen also runs perpendicular to the selvage. So if we're going to use this for something longer, we have to really consider how we're going to lay out our pattern to make use of the design that runs this way instead of this per, uh, parallel to the selvage, which would be more traditional. Hope the video has been helpful. And if you're looking for these prints, there is a link to my shop in the comments. And um, these prints will be um, live and available to everyone sometime in May. At this point, they are available for pre-order only. Thanks so much.